This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good morning, my Real News Media TV family. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning, and I'm wishing for everyone a wonderful and a productive day. And in the news this morning for February 28, 2023, Indicom investigating shootings in St. James and Westmoreland. Investigators assigned to the Independent Commission of Investigations Western Regional Office said that they have commenced investigations into two separate shooting incidents by the police in two days. During the incident, two men were shot and killed, and another man was shot and injured. The incidents occurred in Garland's district at St. James on February 26 and at Negril West Milan on February 27. The police report that officers were dispatched on a planned operation in Garland's district in search of a man. During the search, it is alleged that the men were seen running from a house, firing in the direction of the officers. One man, a 64-year-old farmer and a construction worker, Donald Green, was shot and killed. It is further reported that a Glock pistol firearm was recovered from the scene. According to reports, the counterterrorism and organized crime officers were involved in a shooting incident where two security guards employed to secure World were shot at the Sunshine Plaza in the grill. Both men were taken to the hospital for treatment where 25-year-old Delon Hardin was pronounced dead. No firearm was reported as recovered from the incident. Indicom said inquiries continue to further understand the full circumstances surrounding both incidents. Indicom's investigation involved the processing of the incident scenes, witness canvassing, and initial interviews of the concerned officers. These concerned officers will be required to provide a statement and or attend the office of the commission to be interviewed pursuant to Section 21 of the Independent Commission of Investigations Act 2010 the agency said in a statement yesterday. Indicom urges all persons who witnessed the fatal shooting incident to assist in the investigative process by contacting the Commission's office with known information or by sending any photos and the videos to Indicom's official WhatsApp number at 876-553-5555. Couriers are urged to review security protocols following deadly robbery. Couriers of large sums of money are being advised to undertake a review of their protocols. The call follows Monday morning's robbery and the shooting of guards employed to Beryllium who were delivering cash to the JN Bank branch in Portmore Pines, St. Catherine. One guard was fatally shot while two others, including the driver, were rushed to hospital after they were attacked by men with high-powered weapons. The robbers escaped with some $10 million. Senior Superintendent of Police Christopher Phillips Head of the St. Catherine South Police Division said that given the recent spate of robberies targeting deliveries of large sums of cash, measures need to be implemented to counter the criminals. I would make a serious call to the companies that are doing courier services to review their operations, review their tactical maneuvers, review their numbers in terms of these kind of transactions, and to look on the type of vehicle they are using for this. Everybody has to take security seriously. You know? There has to be more effort at target hardening and building out the security right across. Um, the police alone will not be able to do it. We suspect this is an organized activity, and if you are tracking, you would observe that we had some of these kind of robberies taking place in other parts of the island, and so we know it's something organized. Commander George Overton, Director of Public Relations for Guardsman Group, said that security companies have taken note of increased incidents of theft. He also encouraged those handling significant sums of cash to heighten their awareness and ensure they are taking the necessary precaution to minimize their exposure. I can only encourage all those who handle significant sums of cash to, to really heighten their awareness and um, ensure that they are taking all the necessary precautions to minimize the exposure. For us, it's a matter of seeing how we improve. You know, there is there is different types of equipment to be used. There are different methodologies to minimize the exposure on the pavements. But there there's just so much you can do and no more. The Port Pines branch of JN Bank was closed to the public following Tuesday morning's shooting. A notice sent by JN encouraged members of the public 
to conduct their transactions at other locations within St. Catherine and St. Andrew Online or at the nearest ABM. The bank said a counseling was being provided to its employees and the clients who were present during the attack. Clarendon farmer robbed of goats killed the seized cops. Police believe that a goat farmer who was found dead in Ramsbury District, Clarendon, on Monday morning was taken to the area and killed by thieves. The body of 37-year-old Gerald Morgan, otherwise called Budup, from Harrison Town in Milk River in the parish, was discovered by residents who called the police. Investigations revealed that Morgan was last seen around 1 p.m. on Sunday when he went to feed his goats. Subsequently, neither Morgan nor the goats returned, the police said. About 10.30 Monday morning, residents stumbled upon the farmer's body and summoned the authorities. The police have theorized that Morgan was robbed of his goats and taken to Ramsbury where he was killed. They are carrying out further investigations. Body of 57-year-old found in Clarendon, no foul police suspected. The semi-nude body of a 57-year-old woman was found at her home in Grantham District in Frankfield, Clarendon on Monday morning. She has been identified as Glassman Brown, a domestic helper. Police said initial investigations have not appointed to any foul play in connection with the death, but they are conducting further investigations. According to information received, Brown was last seen alive about 10 a.m. last Thursday in the district. She was not heard from or seen over the next few days. Police said around 9 a.m. yesterday morning, residents checked her home and discovered her lifeless body on the floor. The authorities were subsequently summoned. Lawmen who arrived on the scene found the body lying face down in her one-bedroom concrete dwelling house. She was clad in a multicolored floral dress, nude lower half, with what appeared to be blood beneath the upper body and a wound to the face. Investigators at the scene said it appeared the now deceased died from natural causes and the wound to her face was as a result of her falling face down to the ground. It was further observed that several empty packets of perazodine, which is used as a blood thinner for persons affected by blood clotting, were found in the house and out in the yard. Residents said they were aware that Brown suffered from high blood pressure. Police Federation raises more concern about the cops being denied a gun license. The Police Federation has again taken the Firearms Licensing Authority to task for denying applications by cops seeking to obtain private firearms. Corporal James said that the police need to be equipped with the necessary resources to protect themselves following several attacks by criminals on members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Within a 12-day period, Corporal James noted five police officers were attacked, one of whom died. It is clear that some of the reasons that are being proffered by the fire licensing authorities uh, regarding members attempting to obtain licensed firearms, that it is, it is not cutting it, simply not cutting it. The reasons are poor and in poor teeth. You cannot have law enforcement practitioners uh, that have been given flimsy reason as to the reason why, where you are living, why you are not afforded a license, among other things that are so frequent. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.